Hi guys, welcome to your second edition of Academy Skills uh, for Sunday morning. We're hoping to do three skills today. One, the first one is going to be just a little clock uh, that you could do on your own in your bedroom if you have a, um, a carpeted bedroom or on a piece of rug or anything like that. It's probably ideal to get the same resistance if you don't have um, grass or turf, piece of turf in your backyard. So the first one, like I said, very simple. We start with you being in the middle of a clock and we're just trying to manipulate the ball to all the numbers on the clock. So we'll go 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, all the way around to 12 o'clock. Um, and then once we get that comfortably, you would then um, try to do it a little bit faster. So basically start in the middle, you start with the ball in the middle and we will start going 1 o'clock, back to the middle, 2 o'clock, back to the middle, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And like I said, if you get it, get more comfortable with manipulating the ball, you have to do it a little bit faster. And hopefully, at the end of it, um, you'll be able to manipulate the ball in any direction in your field of play when you're playing your games. So most people generally tend to be able to do an indoor dribble, dribbling the ball left to right, or they might do a V drag to change direction. But what we want to improve on that is where I can dribble the ball in any, in any direction and feel relatively comfortable moving, moving the ball and staying in control of it. Yeah? So that's the first one, like I say, you can do that in your bedroom, um, in your yard, with a rubber, you could do it by yourself basically. So you don't need, if you, if you don't have siblings or parents that are willing to help you, you could do that um, on your own. The second one you want to do today would be a reverse stick pass. So I'm going to say the help of Rocio and Itano who are going to help us demonstrate um, the exercise. So basically we want to take the ball, simulate an inter defender, move the ball off to the right and make a pass behind your back um, to an oncoming player on your team. All right, ready, go. She will, all right, forward, dribble, take the ball forward, nice. Reverse stick pass, take it there. Reverse the pass. Good. Good. So we're noticing that keeping the stick on the ball, grabbing it lovely on the outside. Good. Get ready. Yeah. So we go in there. On the reverse. And notice the ball stayed on the stick. A lovely pass row. The ball stayed on the stick. Good pass stands. So the ball stayed on the stick. When we do any pass, so we're not hitting the ball it's there, roll it back. Lovely. Right, we're gonna pass the ball on the outside here. Yeah. So that the person receiving right on the open six. So Alright, well done. Thank you girls for that one. Right, so the key there guys was you attempted to pass the ball, not behind your back here, but in a straight line, so you're passing onto the person behind you onto their open stick. So if you were to simulate this in a game situation, if Itana was the defender standing there, and Rocio passed the ball to me, I could engage Itana this way, get her to come to tackle, then I'll make that pass, but I'm making it there onto her open stick, and then she could take the ball off in that direction. So like I said, you could do this if you have siblings or your parents, or if not, and you have a couple of balls, you could simply just get a whole group of balls and practice the pass in itself. Just get a group of balls, go forward, practice that pass on the outside there. Couple of key things. One, like I said, the ball was always on the on the edge of the stick to make the pass. So the ball is there, make the pass there. And the other thing is the position of the feet. So you're making the pass, not from here, not from behind you, but from in front, your carry position here. Make the pass from there. If you, if you make the pass from behind your feet, you have a good likelihood it will go onto the person who you're trying to pass to reverse it. So that's the second exercise that you're able to do. Um, and the third one is going to be a rollout, which you probably do every week. Um, the only difference with this rollout, we want to roll out with the intention to pass. So when we're going to look at it, where we release the ball, where, how, we, how we control the rollout to determine when, we want, when and where we want to pass the ball from. Yeah? So again, we'll demo that, and then I'll talk you through how we want some steps in terms of ex executing it. Right, Rosario, you want to go for this? 
good, fast. So, there, roll out. Good, nice pass. We carry there, we roll. And then we pass onto the open stick. So, the idea is to pass the ball to the person, open the stick, good. So, we're not just rolling and trying to pass anywhere. Excellent, that's good enough. There, roll onto the open stick. Roll, good. Have to go for so see what today open stick. Let me get it. Yeah, good. Good times. <laughs> yeah, so we roll and pass onto the open stick. So the key to the, to the pass is that when we do the roll, we don't want to pass the ball from on this foot. We want to make sure it pass your right foot when you're going to pass. So we don't want to do the roll here and then try to pass from here because then the ball will end up going on this side of the, the person you're trying to pass to. So if I know there's stick on this side, so if I, so I want to pass the ball to the open stick, I want us to release my pass or start making my pass when the ball get past this foot. Then I can see the stick there and I can make the pass accurately. The other thing is in terms of getting it, they turn really tight and quick at speed. If we talk about this thing earlier, your hands position. So as I start to go around, and in fact, Rosie, you can come and demo this. So as I start going around, you should see her left hand coming in behind her right elbow, and that keeps the ball nice and tight. So she's able to turn really quickly if she's running at pace. So you can practice it running at pace and see if you're able to turn really, really sharply. Let's see how fast we can do this one, girls. Go, spin, and lovely, good. Just do, just do the roll buttons. No pass it now, just roll. Speed, speed, roll, lovely. Well done, good pass, one more. Roll, oh, excellent, really good, well done. All right, guys, so that's just three, soft, three things that we could practice um, tomorrow. Last week we had about five things that we could, that we could add to this week's one. So we have about eight things, probably stuff for every day of the week um, at the moment. Um, so stay safe, get practicing, and I think we have a, a, a setup where you could give us any feedback, stuff you're struggling with. Uh, let us know, and we could kind of like recap it the following week in case you're in any part of it giving you any difficulty. So, good luck and thanks a lot.